Hi everybody, Cynthia here with Swan Soap and Such and I'm going to make goat milk soap and I am using a special fragrance today Patchouli Rain, oh my 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 from Rustic Essentials just so delightful, of course I have my fragrance in here with my kale and clay it's a slight color. It has a slight color to it. So we could get a little discoloration, but we're ready for that. Okay, well we're going to get started here. And we have organic um, shea butter, which sometimes can leave some of that shea butter specks in there, which is fine. It's all natural. I'll scrape the rest of this goat milk lye mixture out of my bowl. There we go. Okay, I've had some requests for patchouli type soaps, so I'm combining them with my goat milk, and I think they're delightful. So, let's get started. Bubbles, please. Thank you very much. So, goat milk soap. Mm -hmm. And as you can see today, I'm using Nature's Garden Live Flakes, which are also food grade, high quality, of course. We like that high quality. That's all that we're looking for all the time. So we have an emulsion, so I'm going to split off my colors and work. Well, actually, what are we going to do? Let's try to put the fragrance oil in first so that I get it evenly dispersed. It says it doesn't do anything like accelerate or... But we'll see. We'll certainly find out, won't we? No acceleration, no rising. Oh, it smells so amazing. Spatula to scrape the salt, get all that goodness out. Oh my goodness, this smells good. Whew. Okay, I'll put the notes of the fragrance in the description because my explanation. Whoa, my explanation of these this fragrance is will not do it justice. they didn't try this in goat milk so we do have a little bit of goat milk going on but let's get our colors mixed up and get moving so we can get this in the mold and look beautiful I have a plan I have this plan and I hopefully it will work so we got a mess here my lid back on. Clean up my mess. Always a mess. <clears throat> okay, we have this beautiful green. These are three different greens that I put together. We have a baby blue, which is amazing. You can barely see it. There we go. And I have um, Caribbean blue, which I like. 
look like. I have this beautiful silver gray. And then I have this most amazing. It's called Wicked from Mad Micah's. So, chilly rain. Let's do. We want a little green. That should do it. We want a little blue. Not too much. Little blue. Not too much. Silver. A little bit. I think we want more of this blue. I think. Well, let's wait off. Wait, wait, wait. Mess, mess, mess. And then we have this little tiny container. And we'll put some in there. And we're starting to thicken up nicely. We do want it a little thick. But. And then this one, we're going to put the type in the other side in. And then here. Here's my measuring tool. Measuring tool. And here you are. It likes to hide on me. So here we go. Okay, we'll move these back just a little bit. Move this into frame. There we go. And our titanium. So, this gets like congealed on the bottom. I've got a couple of bolts down here. and Actually, it's not too sticky down there, so that's not bad. So, let's see if we can get a tablespoon into our white. Probably two. We want this to be light, light. Okay, it's thickening up. We have to hurry. Oh, we got a bolt. We don't want a bolt. Okay. That's all we have prepared at the moment. So I'm going to use my whisk to whisk this in. Creamy. Okay. And the next one is our green. Get our green out. Get our color out. All of our stuff out. Mix our green in. So I want to put the green, I think, in the mold first. So why don't we just go and do that? really scraping along the bottom of this because I've got the color on the bottom. Okay, let's get our mold out here. Clean up more mess. Put the mold in here. And we want to tilt it. Can you see okay? Okay. Now we want to get this green. Nice and fluid, but still thick enough the way we want it. And we're going to pour it down in the corner here. I really don't want it along the side. Thank you very much. And we'll just continue to pour it down there. Have it fill in at the bottom. saving any um, for anything so we're going to get it all in and make a big mess. I probably should get smaller spatulas for this. They seem to be getting more on the sides of the mold than in the mold. Okay. We've got to tip it well. Get it off our edges here. Okay. 
and clean it out inside best we can. Clean off the side here and spray it. Making such a mess. Okay, you can see that it's down in there. And it does accelerate. I'm sorry, but this is accelerating. But we're going to mix these up. Scraping on the bottom, getting that color. Ooh, that's a nice watery color. Now, we do want to split this up. So, let's see, is that setting up? Let's see. It's still pretty movable, so we don't care if it gets in the middle. We just want to get it down on there. Get some there. Maybe go on this side some more. Get it in there. Okay. Such a mess. Just a tiny bit. I get some smaller spatulas. Clean my mess. Clean up. Okay. Okay. So we want to make sky a little in the blue side so this is sitting up nicely but we'll mix it up and it'll loosen it up and this is a baby blue from nurture soap so we have a different blue or green just want all kinds of blues and greens in here and we'll just put that one down in here too I want that all the way to the ends. Okay, come on. Okay, now I'm gonna mix up this white, which is setting up, loosening it up. Now let's clean up here. Move this down. Clean this up. Okay, such a mess I am. Yes, well we have to stir this beautiful dark gray called Wicked. Oh my gosh, it's a beautiful dark silver gray. It's just the perfect dark stormy cloud. That's what we want. It truly rains, so we're trying to do like a little landscape as you can kind of tell. Just colors, just like a, an impression. And then this is the silver gray, so this will give more gray clouds. And I think I want to whisk this one too. So we'll get our whisk out. Whisk that up. That's good. That's good. Now what we're going to do, let me move this mold out of the way a second. Show you what I'm doing. Everybody move over, except for you. I just knocked over Wicked. Come on, y'all. Too much stuff. Okay. Well, we got it mostly cleaned up. Okay. Okay, so, looks a little green, but we're going to put some in here. And we're going to give it a little stir, but not with this. And with this. This is going to be our storm clouds. Okay. Even though they're yellowish. And I'm going to even put 
put a little bit of this darker in there and stir that in just a touch and when I mix it up it's thick enough that it shouldn't mix but it should be pretty nice okay so now we're going to pour this in our mold how can you see there we go how can you see <laughs> okay now let's see if we can pour this in our mold and we'll have our patchouli rain just like that beautiful smells so good now I'm going to put some more of this wicket in since I have it set aside so it'll be darker clean this container out get all the stuff out okay and then we will take the rest of this silver gray and stir it up get it off the edges Pour that in there. Now we're not going to mix it this time. We're just going to pour it all in and we'll pour it in our mold and whatever it, wherever it lands, that's what it'll be. So we'll have a big storm cloud in the middle. Hopefully it'll all go down the mold very nicely. Oh yeah. starting to heat up. I think they were lying about their acceleration. I think it accelerates. Okay. Now we'll scrape the rest out. Not very much left. Patchouli rain, goat milk soap. So delightful. We'll even out our top here. Give it a smack down, get the bubbles out. I don't think there's too many bubbles in this one though. And then let's see what we got for the top. Okay, there we go. Now I need more paper towel. Clean it off the top. Very nice. And I think it's a little bit of whatever that blues are. And we've got this going on. There we go. Perfect. All right. Now, I know I said I didn't want any green left, but I have this little bit, a tiny bit. I think I'll put it in with the blue. That's what we'll do. So we'll put it in there. See if we can't get something going on here. Scrape all our container. Okay. We've got a little bit of blue. Maybe there's a blue um, sky on top coming out. Just don't know what you can see up there. Beautiful blue sky above the clouds. Yes, I think so. We have a little rain, but April showers and all. Nice. There we go. Beautiful color. this gray which is turning a little green which will probably turn back it's a little green but we'll have to wait and see
little more green than I thought on there, or gray, whatever it turns out to be. I think it's gray. I really have this as green. This is the gray. Okay. That's good. Well, this was the gray. That was the green. So, a little bit of gray in there. Get that in there. Let's see if I have a spatula for that. Every little bit counts, you know. Alright, that was green. Okay, there's the gray. Now, we have such a mess everywhere. Got the trusty towels that clean everything up. And stand, be peasy. Maybe mess over here, too. Okay. Keep it down. Pardon my arm. This side, this side. Okay, this is setting up, so let's get this started. Yeah, we're just going to make it a little wavy on toppy. Those are always more pleasant. Very nice, very nice. Okay, needs a little smack down. bubbles in there that we see like this like this like this okay I think that's it guys we'll just put a little glitter on it and we'll be all set we like a flat top makes it easy to hold now where's that glitter 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 where are you here we are was here. Yes, this catastrophe has slipped in my hand. I think I have a band on it. Okay, so patchouli rain. Oh, we want snowflake. Where did snowflake go? Good grief, Charlie Brown. We need snowflake. We got hollow, we got this, we got that. Alright, well. To take these gloves off because they're just too uh, bulky. Can't handle things with these on. Right, we're finished with the bulk of the soap, which is good. Okay, so I got these new containers from Amazon, of course. These new little tea things for glitter. And I just have to use them. I just can't stand it. We just have to put some in here and just glitterize this whole situation. Ooh, that works nice. It's my first time using this, actually. It really spreads it nice and even. Let's put a little more in there because we need to go to the end. Oh, yeah. Sparkly, sparkly. What's this? Snowflake sparkle from Nurture Soap. That's what that is. Very nice, you guys. Patchouli rain. Love it. See you for the cut. Hi, everybody. Cynthia here with Swan Soap and Such. We're going to cut patchouli rain. And I need to get a different angle because you can't see so good. Maybe if I move it just a little bit more. Okay, I'm going to cut my sample off the end here. Completely well, but that's okay. We'll get them later. So, here we go. Cut it. Okay, is that better? There we go. Ooh. Okay, that's kind of cute. We have a little green, a little blue, baby blue here, and then we have the storm of patchouli rain. That's very nice. We'll leave, leave the notes of the scent in the description so you can see. Lovely bar. 
Isn't that wonderful? Of course, this is another goat milk soap, which we all like. We like that creamy lusciousness. And we have a little storm, and we have our land, and maybe our sea, and our... Ooh, I'm going to use your imagination. It's more of an impressionist style. So, it's quite lovely. Patchouli rain, goat milk soap. Love it. Love it, love it. I'm enjoying making goat milk soap. I also have a lot in my freezer that I need to use up, and we don't want to waste anything, so we're going to do that. Yep, very nice. Top's very nice too. Let's add a little bit of glitter, you can see. It did heat up considerably when I was first letting this cure, so I did put it in the refrigerator and it did still continue to heat up. It cracked a bit on the top superficially, but I was able to push that back together. I'm really enjoying the darker um, mica in here for the contrast. It really helps. Um, that's that Wicked from Mad Micas. That little wisps of those for the storm. Little wisps of dark color. Again, I'm cutting at an inch and a quarter so they fit in those lovely boxes. We're trying to get away from plastic of all kinds. I'm looking at what's happening to our oceans and I'm just, I, I just can't believe it. So I'm doing my part and I'm making them so they will fit in the boxes. Nice, good size bars. They actually, I like the way they fit in your hand better than those square bars, and they're actually substantial, so they do last a long time. Very nice. Every bar is a little different. Patchouli rain. Lovely scent. Okay guys, thanks for watching. You have a great day. Enjoy. God bless. See you next time. Bye-bye.